I don't really like this chick. Like, and yeah, she played like a you know a bitchy character, but it was just like, eh. But over time, she's really grown on oh, me. She's grown on me. I I really like her. Like, a lot. she yeah. really should have been the Invisible Woman in Fantastic Four, along with her husband. Well, yeah. That's what the fans wanted. <sighs> yeah, but f the fans, right? I know. Sorry, best we could do is Pedro Pascal. I'm not even interested. Yeah, I'm not interested in I it at not, all. I, I mean, the only Marvel movie I'm interested in is uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Right. Yeah, that's yep. going to be soon. Yeah, which yeah. will provide a lot of cannon fodder for all of our channels. That's a good. Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman movie, not a Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess it, it, it is something about, like, do you think that Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Gosling uh, have the same level of star power as like Tom Cruise? Mm, no, I don't even think mm -hmm. Tom Cruise has the same star power, star power, star power as Tom Cruise. Uh, even his is, the, yeah, no, there's no movie stars anymore. That's yeah. that's done. We're we're done with that. They open their mouths on social media. They ruin that. Mm, yeah. So no one goes to see a insert movie insert movie person name anymore. There's no Schwarzenegger movies. No, I think they do. It's just mitigated because of the Ooh. influx of the younger name one, generation. Name one person they, who on their when name I went to Top Gun Maverick. I, when I went I, to Top Gun Maverick in in IMAX, in there was an older generation. Only. Do you think he oh. could do three? We did that because people weren't going to the movies, and people came back for a patriotic hoorah thing out of nowhere. Yeah. It you didn't feel like a patriotically message sort of. No, not movie. at all. It was it's just, it was a kick-ass film. In and comparison, think, it was. I think that's what brought people Considering back. everything else was America is a racist piece of shit at the time, and you're all horrible, and it was the one yeah. thing that came out like, hi, pro, look, and he's not horrible and pathetic, and like, <laughs> but it wasn't because it was Tom Cruise. Otherwise, why didn't Mission Impossible right. 7 make any money? Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, that was to its budget. That, that movie no, had issues it. for me. The, the budget ballooned when you look at the, him, or he's not. When you look at the behind the scenes stuff of what happened, that fucking budget ballooned because of the fucking shutdowns and all the COVID restrictions and mandates that oh, happened. Yeah, yeah. It delayed it that film. Million, they shut down numerous People times. Didn't see it. People didn't go they, to see that movie. They did. When you look at the the box office, it grossed like two hundred million uh, domestically and overseas. It like it uh, accumulated five hundred, half a billion. Cool. Go look again. Mission Impossible Seven: Dead Reckoning, of which they changed right. the name, lost money. People didn't go to see it at all compared to well, the other movies in the I theater. Mean, can someone can someone confirm that? Yeah, cool. I think I think it was deemed as the a reason they're not doing financially. The I thought they, they were doing, doing a sequel. A sequel. They, I say there's a reason they changed it from Dead Reckoning Part One to Part Two, to now entirely changing it. Uh, oh, I hadn't I mean, heard about this. Maybe, but I even stated in my own video, I said how fucking long that title was, and I said yeah, it's, just, it's a just, mouthful. Just, just don't call it Part One. Just call it Dead Reckoning. Then call the next thing another Something subtitle. Else. Yeah. I, the Which then they they was... put out a statement and saying that's why we're doing it. And maybe there's the same you... amount of people that went to see Maverick didn't go see Mission Impossible. Even compared to the previous Mission Impossible's with Henry Cavill. Yeah, it was it was a a, a disappointment. I knew that much right. that it didn't perform uh, as they were hoping. I agree but with that. I, I think understand part that. of it is, uh, I just, I don't think it was as good as the previous movies. I had issues with some stuff in there. And so did I. I the argument was Ailey if he was a movie star, Ailey they would have gone character. to see it just on the name alone. But because of that, they yeah. didn't. And word of mouth, they didn't. So yeah. that, that was the argument. There are no movie stars anymore. And I've still yet to see the movie star that still exists in current 2024. Like they the can one fucking that everybody sell a movie on their name alone. Just because. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If the movie budget, budget wasn't as big as it ballooned to, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. What was the, same the budget? Way. Uh, so according to Wikipedia, uh, the budget was 291 million <gasps> gross, okay. gross. So versus... now take that and times it by two for advertising. Right. Because that's the rule. Well, the box the, the... office worldwide, according again to Wikipedia, 567.5 million worldwide. Oh, that's that's a loss. Yeah, that's yeah. really bad. That, that is a loss for sure. If it's because it was million, just right. I agree with you. I, I'm not the, the 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 how many times they had to shut down that fucking movie. Macquarie states in an interview that it just extended and fucked up the budget. And 
I think it was I, I those stupid mandates like fucked up the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the movie's expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Now explain why that has anything to do with people not coming up to see it. I think even how much if it, it had been 150 million, it, it wouldn't have performed. Well. I think it just wasn't the level of the other movies. Right. I guess I'm, what I'm saying is the ultimate point is here is it relied on word of mouth, not who was starring in it, because there are yeah, no movie stars in it. Yeah, that's why Maverick did as well as it did. Because word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. it was Hey, a legacy a character movie. that wasn't Not ruined. because Tom right. Cruise. Yeah. yeah, and new people that they introduced successfully. Now that guy, that one guy is a star and everything's going to be in Twisters. Glenn Powell? I don't Yeah, know. Glenn Powell. I, whether I, he's a star or not, I'm saying he's like, it yeah, works. he's they like, you're seeing him everywhere now. Badger, yeah. would you... I, honestly, let, I'm, let me, let me I'm ask this one question. While we're still on this topic of movie stars, Badger, would you say that Sidney Sweeney is a movie star? No. Okay. So what is your, I want to understand what is your Sydney definition Sweeney of has a movie great star? Hits, and it's really funny that in the zeitgeist right now, everyone's fun to joke about that, but no, she's not a movie star and that's not going to last much longer. Otherwise people would have gone to see her immaculate movie. They Correct. didn't. Right. So I no, she's like again. performed fairly well. The immaculate movie. Yeah, but yeah. It was a bad so, so what do we when we say movie star? Are there people in movies that are famous? Like yes. you're, so when you say movie star, we're yeah. we're talking Tom Cruise back in the day, Arnold right. Schwarzenegger Arnold movies, yeah. Tom Cruise yeah. movies. There are no mm -hmm. people that sell their shit based on the, maybe you could say The Rock or Kevin Hart and I'm being real generous on that. The Netflix versions of like a rock movie, a Kevin Hart, but even then, holy shit. No, it's it's so like a neutered term. Well, The Rock's star power is is rapidly oh, waning. Yeah, he ever had, no, by the way. If you go look at how much his movies have actually made, go look at what his number one movie is. What is his number one movie? I'm pretty sure it's the one of the, unless it changes, it's one of the Jumanji, Jumanji movies. Yeah. Okay, wow. this is the part that I disagree with you on, and to an extent, is that there is still a niche audience for actors, but not enough as it used to be by your definition of what a movie star is. Well, because so in that way, there it now has to be reformed or redefined in terms of what a movie star is because of the way culture has changed and how we take in media and Streaming watch movies, etc. Yeah. And the new generation coming in of who they value, they think that Tom Cruise is an old fogey. Okay? They didn't grow up with him. So mm -hmm. you now have to redefine what a movie star is because mm -hmm. people did... I was of the audience that went to go see Mission Impossible because I want to see Tom Cruise do real stunts and I love to see him on screen. I'm not the only one. There is a, a multitude and a vast majority, a lot of people, not to the extent it used to be because we used to saturate the market yeah. to see all those Tom Cruise films and Arnold Schwarzenegger films and et cetera, et cetera. But it's not that way anymore because of the two now generations added to the mix. Well, hold on a second. So what was your like, point beyond the fact that you went there to see him as a movie star, but most people didn't? That's my point. It doesn't matter if some people still go to see people for a name. Most people. So, yeah, redefining it. Well, the redefinition is there are no movies. There's famous people that are in movies. People but you're still lives. applying the old definition of what a movie star is. Because the new one is generic. Gary from Neurotic is a movie star. He's, gonna be, he's a fucking YouTube star. There is there is no above all draw. That's what I'm saying. It's all relative at this point. No one, there's no one that sells movies solely on their name. I don't care what you want to call it or qualify that's it. Fair. That's, no, that, no, that's fair. No, that's fair. If, we, yeah, if that is the I'm definition, saying. if that's that the is definition. the definition, yes. then I will, I will go with you on that. Yeah, there are but people that I, star in movies, 100%. But there are no movie stars. But there still is a fan base there, is what I'm saying. Yes. Right. Yes, there so, are. So people yeah, go I to have, movies just to see I have Adam's a more family. loose, I'm loose from that definition of you, it, it, a movie has to outgross its budget, its market uh, 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 budget, in order for that person to be considered a movie star. Right. I think you could still have be a movie star and maybe it performs under the expectations in this case with Mission Impossible 7 because of how fucking big that budget was because of the goddamn COVID mandates. That's all I'm saying. Now do Fall Guy. Now explain how Ryan Gosling's still a star. Now explain how all of his last couple movies have not done that well. He's famous. He stars in movies. He's not a movie star. Jake Gyllenhaal. He's famous. He stars in movies. He's not a fucking movie star. Otherwise, Roadhouse would have done better. I'm just, we got to stop making excuses. COVID this is fucking 2024. I'm sorry. Yes, there are famous people and people go to see their favorite actors. 
but there's no more people that are selling shit just on their name alone regardless. I think I think what uh, Badger is saying, uh, Kyle, is that back in the 80s and 90s, and you know, I wanted to like go back and correct something that you said that um, you mentioned like Arnold, uh, um, Stallone, that they oversaturated the market. But if you look at like the release schedule, Arnold didn't make multiple movies in a year. Um, and so going back to what Badger said. Sometimes, 91, he had two. Two, two right. But like for the most part, it was like a few, you know. Like one, one, one every one a year. But I'm yeah. hardly the only one to make this point. Anthony Mackie, who plays Falcon, is famously the one that said, people don't go to Marvel movies to see Chris Evans as Captain America. They go to see Captain America, who is played by Chris Evans. Right. Chris Evans left. No one goes to see his fucking movies because he's not a movie star. Well, he's famous and stars in movies, but Captain America was the star. The characters are the stars now, not the actors. And again, well, I, I don't social even media. Think his version of Captain America is going to sell. Well, right. But my point is now you hear Spider Man. I don't care if it's Tom Holland or Tobey Maguire or any of these people who are famous and starred in movies. The character is more important. Right. I, right again. Right. So, yeah. And, and so that goes back to like, I mean, rewind the clock back to like the late seventies, early eighties, Arnold built his own reputation up. Not like not. Yeah. Okay. There, there was like Conan, the Terminator, blah, blah, blah. But he built his reputation up and it wasn't the characters that sold the movie. It was him. Yeah. yeah at and that time, now it was for sure. And now it's yeah. the characters that are being built up and not the, not the, underlying uh actor that that's playing that. and by the way this goes to like a pacino movie a robert de niro movie uh there were there were many actors you would go it doesn't have to just be like the stallone archetype and the yeah, yeah, schwarzenegger yeah. there were movie stars who regardless of what it was you knew what type of movie you were getting with them in it. i'm just saying that that doesn't and then now it just boils down to semantics but the, the, the truth of it is the motherfuckers can't sell movies that's why they all keep failing sorry end of story Prove me wrong, and they've yet to prove me wrong. Yet one person who consistently have a movie that can make money that's bankable. Uh, yeah, yeah, one person is not. Yeah, one person, but it, yeah, again, like you've built up characters, not actors, uh, over the past let's call it twenty years. Well, I don't, I don't even think the characters are going to continue to help. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Either, the, no, no. The, with the with the direction that they're going with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole Marvel. That's the whole Star Wars thing. They're trying to sell characters that just don't work, or they're really because, popular in the comics, and then when they do it, they take like the worst attributes or pick like the worst people to do it, yeah. so that maybe there's something that's nuanced in the comics is then super like uh, off putting. Yeah. But yeah, uh, let's see what Megan the Texan has just said. We are changing our idea of movie star because they are not mm. as masculine as they used to be. True. I still think Ryan Gosling, Miles Teller, and Robert Downey Jr. Oh, shit. Did I... Well, that recent guy, Ryan was at least pretty jacked and, like, big, and Robert's been jacked before. Yeah. I mean, Miles Teller... I, I'm a big fan of Miles Teller. I, I really like him, but I don't, I don't consider him, like, Arnold or Pacino level. Mm-mm. Like, oh, he's no. he's a good actor. He's a very he's a good, good actor. actor. Yeah. I mean, you've seen him in Whiplash for one he thing. He is, yeah. but he's not. He doesn't have the star power that us. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we still go on that track of talking about movie <laughs> star, we can still belabor that point. Uh, I mean, yeah, he was fine in Whiplash, but even in Range, I would take a Ryan Gosling or Robert Downey Jr. far more. I mean, really? I mean, aside from Whiplash, the old Miles Teller I see is the dude from uh, the Hunger Game movies. They're not Hunger. What the fuck is it? Uh, I'm just watching it. Yes, Divergent. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Sorry, they're easy to. Wait, make was, sense. Oh, yes. I forgot he was in that. He's in all of them. By the way, I totally not, forgot he was. They're in that. ironically not that bad of movies, especially I like, really what they the tried to do. One. Uh, yeah. and second one was okay. The third one, mm. I, but I, I and did then they like, just uh, never finished it. What was that other movie he was in? War Dogs. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, with, I've um, yeah. Seen that, I haven't seen that yet. That yeah, was yeah. Uh, based on a true story. I saw mm -hmm. that several years back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Armas plays his wife. One of her uh, first acting roles. One she... of her first English yeah. acting roles. It's it's so funny right. to see how she's exploded because I first 
found out about her several years ago when my kids and I would watch uh, El Internado, which was a Spanish language, like kind of like a telenovela that she played mm-hmm. in. I loved it. I loved it. It was a lot of fun. And then here she pops up, and now she's everywhere. I mean, but but, but but she's not a movie star. <laughs> not even though I we all know her I name. I. <laughs> I, I don't Not think she, uh, I mean, I get Badger's point. I get your point, but I also get Badger's point too. Yeah. I don't think people are going to go see something just because she's in it. Right. Exactly. I agree. If that is the, and it is based on Badger, your definition of a movie star. I agree with that. Ah, finally we get some consensus. No, I said it before. I said it before. <laughs> it was I'm just saying so that heated. the definition of a movie star is broader than that. You can be a, a stronger movie star because of that. If you can, you can sell a movie, right? Also, it depends on the budget. You know, if, if the movie is made depends for thirty on the million, story too. Yeah, well, well, if the movie is made for a small in a budget. Theater, in a movie, you're a movie star. Open the door again. Fine, just right. just do it. I don't. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, make it real we, easy on anyone. 